At Toro Synagogue in Newport, Rhode Island, they worship today much as they did in 1763 when it was founded by European Jews fleeing violent persecution under the Spanish Inquisition. Colonial Newport was a haven for religious freedom. They were not just tolerated, but welcomed. The building tells you they were not afraid. Linda Nathanson has been a tour guide at Toro for five years. They built this synagogue on a hill yes. where the history of synagogues was that they were hidden away. Right. That's significant. It's very significant. Why? They had these huge windows. They had the candles blazing. Anyone could have watched them worship. And they were free to worship here. They did not have to hide. Never. Toro's reputation as an early symbol of American religious freedom was cemented in 1790 when George Washington, in his first full year as president, exchanged letters with the congregation. His letter included one of the new nation's first official guarantees of religious liberty. Washington assured them that the U.S. government gives to bigotry no sanction, to persecution no assistance. For any Jew living in America, he wrote, there shall be none to make him afraid. Washington wrote the letter a year before the First Amendment's guarantee of religious freedom became the law of the land. Toro's important place in American history has made it a popular tourist destination. Laura Trivers of Maryland has dreamed of visiting Toro for more than 30 years. I grew up Jewish in the South, and I have heard about the Toro synagogue since I was a little girl, and this was a place where I wanted to come and I wanted to bring my family. I had goosebumps. Linda Nathanson says it's a feeling that never goes away. I go into that building and I feel the presence of the people who founded it. I feel what a miracle it was for them to be able to worship freely. A miracle that continues this weekend as Toro celebrates 250 years of religious freedom. Chip Reed, CBS News, Newport, Rhode Island.